everybody, Shayna here for University TV, and it looks like we're in the right place. Let's meet with a nonprofit director. Steve Barty is the director of a nonprofit organization called Children's Home Society of Florida. It's a job he finds very rewarding. Anytime you place a child in a, in a permanent loving home, it's rewarding. You can't help but feel good at the end of the day. A nonprofit director runs an organization as its head administrator. He's responsible for the day-to-day -day operations as well as the overall direction of the organization. You have to be able to run a business. It, it, at the end of the day, this is a business. Uh, and so you have to understand accounting, you have to understand budgeting and finance. As a director, there's a lot of responsibility. Organization is a must as well as flexibility and being able to remain calm under pressure. You definitely have to be able to um, juggle more than one priority at the same time. Working long hours is a given. Outside of regular working hours, you're attending functions, fixing emergencies, or you're working with benefactors. It's also a job that is not 9 to 5 and, and be flexible in that um, arena that there are some nights and some weekends that you will be working. There are a number of different types of nonprofit organizations. A bachelor's degree in the field you're interested in is helpful. A master's degree is needed in order to move up the ladder. Steve also suggests interning in order to get the best experience. I think interning is a great way to learn what you want to do as well as what you don't want to do and give you a, a, a leg up on the hiring process. Nonprofit organizations are found all over the country. You just have to find the one that fits you. If you have a passion for something, there's a nonprofit out there for it. Mm -hmm. There just absolutely is. Um, but the large ones tend to be the, the social service ones. What does the future hold for up and coming nonprofit organization directors? Unfortunately, in social services, there are always going to be families in crisis. Um, so there are always going to be need for you know caseworkers, social workers, counselors. The money isn't what drives people to work for a nonprofit organization. Salaries are based on education, experience, and the size of the association. Thirty thousand five hundred. We start everybody off with that. Um, you know, ma a master's degree um, tends to get people up around uh, you know thirty-seven. Not everyone can be a director of a nonprofit organization. Although great organizational skills are a must, you need one more thing. Any nonprofit, um, they typically have a cause and I think the person needs to have a passion about that cause, be it children, be it families, be it animals. Thanks to Steve, I think I'm on my way to becoming a nonprofit director. I just have to figure out how to cash this check.